Jason, we're going to jump into a very special section where I have here on the screen a new report. So we're going to go through, we talked about the five things that really matter. Right here on the screen, I have an example of what this Optio software looks like. And this is how you create a report. You can name the report, choose the reporting period, and then choose your theme. Flip through a couple of these here. Jason, what I like about it is it's simple. It looks professional. That was one of the first things I had talked about, readable. We'll see what it looks, what the actual report looks like, but you can change the summary, the templates. They're easily, you can flip through them or, or create your own template. You know, so you might create a template for uh, cost per conversion client or a no conversion client at all. You can create those templates and then assign White it. label. Yeah, what, there you go. Thank you. White label stuff has all the information. If you need to add, uh, you know, additional information, in the reports, it's all right here. It's super easy. And this without further delay is the best part. So all that stuff was setting up the report. This is what the report looks like. And we'll go through here and here's the cover, Jason, always, you know, cover always uh, is important. Everybody has a cover I, page. I, I really like this one, Chris. And if you scroll up, I just want to look at this visually for a second. I like the, that you see the very good bakery and then the color on the report is the same, the same blue. I like the ability to do that. There's something about that. This is all not just a white space, which is one of the templates if you want, but I really mm -hmm. like the one uh, with the color. You got the date range that this covers in the upper right corner. Uh, you've got your agency if you want it. Uh, with the uh, white label option there. If you don't want it, um, you don't have to. But you've got the option there to put your kind of branding on there. Uh, and then the client's branding. It's a custom customized yeah. report to them. It looks very professional. Yeah, yeah. And I I'm, I'm chomping at the bit, bit here because this, th this is one of the big items that I talked about. You know, we, we, number one was looking professional. I think if you're if, if you're visually seeing this, you know, check it out on YouTube so you can see it. Yeah. You can see what this looks like. Um, when you're seeing it, Jason, here's the green arrows pointing up, pointing down. You know, stuff like that. It you can see here's the spin, here's the conversions, here's the cost per conversion, here's the impressions, all the important things that you want to show. They're on the page. They're right there. And it, it, should, should I go ahead and just talk about this because I I really want to share. This, you may not, yeah. this, you can highlight this section over here and I can change the text that's on the screen. Okay. So this text, which I'll talk about where this text comes from, but I can delete this and then write my own, uh, like, you know, thing. So this is the report for, you know, this month and things, you know, went really well, blah, blah, blah. You can type it. That is so much easier than creating a Word document, putting in a screenshot of the Google Ads, you know, dashboard, and then writing something underneath. It's already here for you. The fact that you can just type it and, and add bolding and, and bullet points and stuff like that right into the system. Customizable, personalized commentary, like the point number three we had talked about. Amazing. I, I don't see things like this in other reporting softwares. Yeah, and, and for all the, for all the, professionals out there you can see on the left side the advice from optio about keeping oh, it yeah. simple yeah. if your uh, client doesn't know a lot about google ads or digital marketing and then the data is right there so sometimes it's going to be good news sometimes it's not and it's right there in front of you but Write you can yeah. give them some context and showing it to them telling them the bad news telling them why giving it some context that can build trust over time with your clients. And we'll talk about where that commentary comes from, Chris, in a minute, because uh, yeah. it's a very cool feature. But I agree with you. I love that it's in the same place as the data. So you, as you're writing it, you can look at the data. Yeah, and and of course, every Google Ads report is gonna have graphs. They're all gonna look different. You know, I, I personally like the graph, but what's special is you notice on this next page, the spend summary. Um, the conversion summary, all these graphs, they each have an opportunity to show this text where you can change this text. And this text is automatically generated. This I did not write this. What you see on the screen, we generated eight conversions between May 1st and May 31st. And it, it was an increase compared to the previous total of four. 
very understandable, plain English types of things. It didn't even use CPA or abbreviations and stuff like that. It was very straightforward. This was written by a software. Computer, I don't, software. It was written, so the, it was fir not the first time by you the first time you made this report for yeah. the the bakery, you did not come in here and write. We we generated X right. conversions between X yeah. state range. You didn't write that. It auto populated and scroll up to the spend summary, Chris. Yeah, here's it auto populated summary. this one as well, and scroll up yep. to the to the KPI one at the top key performance indicator indicators. Yep. Uh, that's the, that that's the original report. It. There. there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look that looks look good. at what it yeah. says on this summary page. This is this is such human language, and it's automatically generated. So you could create report and send without typing any of this, and the language on the report over the reporting period. We spent a total of thirty dollars to generate. Uh, eight conversions. Our average cost per conversion dropped by seven dollars. I mean, th this is th this is so clear and concise, and the fact that it's generated for you. I mean, this is this is what gets me excited about the Optio reporting stuff because this is not something that uh, you see anywhere else. It's really unique. Yeah, yeah, and I like how they make it bold there. So if you need to change that those numbers, you can or date ranges, you can very quickly know what to change. Yeah. And, you know, just briefly scrolling through here, I mean, there's impressions, there's clicks. And and by the way, you can And remove... by the way, Chris, yeah, I was about to say, you don't have to have some of these slides if you don't want them. Yeah, right here at the top, I can click remove slide. Boom, the slide's gone, right? And then, it, you know, you didn't even include that. If you don't if you don't want to get into uh, a certain uh, cost per conversion or ROAS that's in here, you just remove it and it's done. And then you can update the report and it's gone in the report from here forward. Yeah. Um, just, just, just so interesting. And then Jason, there's one other thing on the screen here. You know, you talked about the advice, the advice tab right here over on the left side talks about, um, you know, how to write your own commentary, you know, how to address this topic, but there's also an insights tab. And <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that just blows my mind. It makes me think, you know, you know, how far till the robot apocalypse happens? Because it says right here, spend has been below target six times in a row. If other metrics look healthy, consider adjusting your budget range. Like it tells you, hey, you didn't have to just go pull up Google ads or pull up a report from something else to determine what the budget is and that you've been below target every time. This is telling you that that's been happening and you can mention that in your write-up or something like that. I mean, this gives you insights into this stuff, but it's not necessarily written in a customized uh, um, uh, commentary on the slide yeah. itself. Even even for a Google Ads manager, just kind of seeing the data presented this way with those yeah. in insights like that that are a different yeah. look at it, you may think like, wow, okay, let's go take a look at search impression share. Then you might communicate to your client like, hey, you've been allocating this, but we've maxed out our impression share, maybe we should look at a new campaign or a new yeah. topic to target. And then last, um, this. this is, you know, they're scrolling through, and this is always the question you get when you're doing a report like this. It's gonna say something like, okay, you know, so I saw all that, so what are next steps? What, you know, what does all that mean? What do we do now? Now it's the next month. That's great for last month, what are we doing now? <laughs> and here, again, what blows my mind, this is auto-generated. This is something that you can customize these bullet points, but there is a, an, an entire slide here that just says next steps. Moving forward, here's what the, the things we're gonna be working on. And if you don't enter in anything here, it'll add some things based on what Optio sees you improving in the account. If you're going through the account grinding through things, it's gonna change these based on what's happening. You know, in, in this example, it's gonna, it says improving our overall quality score. That's what they're working, you know, that's what the system says that, you know, it's trying to work towards. And uh, then it goes through a couple wins for the month. Cost per conversion was reduced, you know, things like that. So to add just a quick C-level kind of summary that someone can look at and understand in a blink what's happening and what's forward. Again, I keep saying it, but I've never seen anything like it. It's and the amount of time and creativity power that this removes from your plate is immeasurable yeah totally now do we want to we want to hit a preview here chris yeah yeah so there, and, and there's a conclusion and there's a few hidden slides so just lots more options you hit the preview report 
and uh, it takes away all the customization stuff, and now you get to actually see what it report, uh, what it looks like. This is what the PDF will generate: clean, clean. readable, st- just professional. It, yeah, looks so. It looks so nice. The 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 commentary is on the right. The graph is on the left. It doesn't take 15 metrics and throw them to you at once on a screen. You get to see it line by line. It's it's great. And and to think that all this is included in the Optio package along with their, you know, optimization suite that they already offer. It's just it it's impressive. It's impressive. All right, Chris. Well, this was a lot of fun. Everyone knows what to do. Uh, we'll have uh, a link in the description to Optio. Uh, Chris, we will be back next week uh, with the next episode of the Paid Search Podcast. And we'll see everybody then. See you.